Brent Randall with you in the KYCC studios, and we are thrilled to have on the phone with us right now none other than Mac Powell. How you doing, Mac? Man, I am doing so good. Thanks so much for having me. We're thrilled to have you. Now, you are going to be in the Northern California area. We've got you down for a concert date in Yuba City on Thursday night, August the 29th, and then you are going to be in Chico on the 30th. On the 31st, Mac, I'm looking at your schedule. You're singing at the Giants game. Are you aware of that? I am aware, yeah. I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm a big uh, baseball fan. And, you know, it's interesting. I'm, I live in Atlanta, so I'm a big Atlanta Braves fan. But uh, I've gone to a lot of stadiums across the U.S. And uh, the stadium that the Giants play in is probably the, the one that I've been in the most outside of uh, the one in Atlanta. So excited to be back there and eat some garlic fries. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful park. Oracle Park is a beautiful place, and uh, you're going to be there on Saturday. And then the one we've been talking about the most here on KYCC, because you are in our neck of the woods, Sunday night, September the 1st. You're going to be at Faith Community Church in Acampo. And uh, if I understand this right, tell me about this. You're bringing, your tour is an acoustic tour, an acoustic set. What's going on there? Yeah, yeah. I have I do a lot of these and, and I'm excited to bring it to you guys where it's just me and one other guy on stage. It's kind of a storyteller night. I'll tell you a little bit more in-depth than I normally would at a, at a full band or concert or festival. Being able to, uh, you know, take some more time, a little bit more intimate than a normal evening for me. And uh, it's it's one of my favorite things to do. I, I, in the night, I like to take requests uh, in the middle of the of the set and just kind of try to remember some songs that people want to hear that that normally wouldn't be on the set list. And so it's the scariest part of the night, but but the most fun part of the night for me as well. And uh, it's it's a lot of fun. So I'm excited about seeing you guys. Very cool. Now I was doing a little bit of homework here before you got on the phone with us. You were the lead singer of the band Third Day. And it looks like you, got, you guys formed up in 1991, if I have that right. Yeah, yeah. And you, it's, uh, Mark, Mark and I went to high school together, so right when we graduated, we started. It wasn't called Third Day at the time, but it's what would turn into Third Day. Okay, and you did that for, tw- it looks like, 27 years, if my math is right. Yeah. Wow. That's so, correct. So how do you look back on your Third Day years Do you, are those fond memories are you are you are you are you glad they're over the grueling you know concert tours yeah you know what it's it's a little bit of both uh they were definitely uh great great memories a great season for us as a band we had no idea that we would be together that long we thought when we got our first record deal we thought man if we can make a couple of records and hmm. maybe tour from the East Coast to the West Coast, back and forth two or three times, that'll be awesome, and then we'll go on and get real jobs. We had no idea we'd be a band for over 25 years. And then when we did in, when we had the uh, Third Day Farewell Tour in 2018, um, you know, there was a, a little bit of a relief of, that was such a big machine that we were working with, um, and we felt like you constantly had to be on the road and interviews and all these things. And so things are a little bit easier as a solo artist, um, however, you know, I tell people the good thing about being in a band is you got four other guys there to help you make decisions, and the worst thing about being in a band is you got four other guys there to help you make decisions. <laughs> so it's it's the good it's the good and the bad. But I miss those guys, and uh, we text every once in a while, and uh, and uh, you know, keep in keep in touch. And yeah, it was really great memories and great music. And uh, yeah, of course, I'm still playing a lot of those songs. I think. It's interesting to me, so many people come up to me before a show and say, hey, are you going to play any Third Day music? And I don't know how I could do a concert without playing any Third Day music. Mm-hmm. So that's always a, going to be a part of, of me and my live set. So when, when I come to see you guys, there'll be definitely some Third Day songs, some uh, songs from my solo records, and, and also some brand new stuff and some worship songs as well. So it's a good, good mix of, uh, of ideas and thoughts and songs through the night. You know, for many years, we labeled ourselves as an inspo radio station. You would understand that. So we played mm-hmm. a lot of the lighter side. Third Day did not make it to our playlist a lot because sure. you, you guys were just rocking out. 
you know. But we we did play a handful of uh, third day stuff. In fact, one of our biggest songs we still have on the air today is uh, "Call My Name," which we just oh, yeah. loved and played it for years. So if you're taking requests for Sunday night hey, Lodi, there you go. There, there's my yeah. request. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, for, I can try to remember that one. Work, work. Uh, through the chords again and, and maybe recall some of the lyrics. I can do that. I love it. Now, you know, I will tell you this. By the way, if you're just tuning in, we've got Mac Powell with us on the phone. He's going to be in the Northern California area uh, the Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, August 29, 30, 31, and September 1. We'll give those specific locations again uh, in just a second. I will tell you, Mac, my personal favorite third day song is is not on a third day record the song is from the worship project exodus from back back in the late 90s and you guys did a rendition of michael w smith's worship song i I hope it's pronounced agnes day i hope i'm saying that right agnes yeah you're close agnes day agnes day is latin which means Lamb of God. And, um, yeah, we, we had, before anybody knew who Third Day was, we used to lead that song and worship at, at youth groups and, you know, in churches. And so when Michael asked us to be part of that project, we asked him, hey, is it okay if we do this song? And he said, yeah, of course. And he mm-hmm. produced it. And I have great memories of being in the studio with him and, um, and then later on being able to go on the road with him many, many times. And he's one of my favorite people. And, all of Christian music, so yeah, it was it was an honor to do that song, and I still sing it uh, to this day. So it's, oh, a, wow. it's a great song, and and uh, and love leading people in worship with that. So if I can make two requests, are are DJs are DJs allowed two requests oh, for course. a concert? Of course. <laughs> Yeah, I'm try- hey, I'm trying to be kind to you guys because I want you to play my music. So, yeah, whatever you ask, I'm going to play it. <laughs> as long as I can remember it. There- if I remember the chords and remember the lyrics, at least some of them, yeah, I'll play it. I love it. Real couple of more questions for you, Mac. Uh, your latest single has, has been, well, you've got a brand new one coming out right now, but uh, for the last several weeks we've been playing 1991. Uh, tell, tell, yeah. tell me the story behind 1991. What's going on there? Yeah, that's a testimony song, and as you mentioned earlier, the the band, the beginnings of Third Day started in 91. Mark and I, uh, the guitar player and myself, we were in a couple of garage bands together, and about a month before I graduated high school, I was really kind of at a place I was lost and needed direction and guidance, and started praying and reading the Word, and the Lord just got a hold of my heart, and I told Mark I wanted to quit the garage band we were in, and he asked me why, and I said, "Well, I really want to live for Jesus now. I want to sing about Him, and I want to, I want to, you know, live my life for Him and following Him." And he said, "Well, let's start a Christian band." I, was, I thought, "Well, great. What's that? I have no idea what Christian <laughs> music is. The only music I knew was, you know, hymns in church." And so I started listening to Christian music and realizing there were some great artists who had gone on before us who had paved the way and, and made some great music about their faith. And so that's where the beginnings of Third Day was, and. Uh, that's really the testimony in that song of 1991 of, of uh, talking about how the Lord got hold of my heart and uh, and has never let go. Very cool. That's a great story. We've got Mac Powell on the phone, and uh, let's give you the dates again. Mac is going to be in Northern California on August the 29th. He's going to be in Yuba City at Adventure Church on August 30th. He's got a date in Chico on August the 31st. That's a Saturday. He is going to be part of Fellowship Day at the San Francisco Giants. By the way, they're playing the Marlins so we can assume you'll root for the Giants that day. They're not playing yeah, the Braves. Of course. <laughs> That's right. I can do that. And then on root, sep- root for the home, home team. There you- <laughs> Good man. And then on uh, September the 1st, uh, in a Campo Faith Community Church, he is bringing his acoustic tour to the area. Tickets and details, kycc.com. Mac Powell, we are looking forward to having you back in Northern California. Looking forward to your visit here. Oh, man, excited to see you guys, and uh, we'll see you soon.